What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up a Streamlit and Whisper app to do automatic speech recognition. So, what we're gonna do here first is, uh, first we're gonna import Streamlit and then also import Whisper. Uh, to, uh, of course, both have to be installed and the uh, setup for Whisper requires a few requires a few steps, which you guys can do separately. And also, let's install Streamlit. So uh, here I outlined the setup steps for different machines. You have to have PyTorch installed, Whisper, and then Streamlit. Once you, once you have all that done, what you do is first we import Streamlit as a state, and then we import Whisper. And all right, now we can start working on our, um, on our app. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is set up a title for our page. Let's call it the Whisper app. And I already have Streamlit uh, running here on the background. So if I, so this is what it looks right now. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a look at, um, Let's upload an audio file with Streamlit. And I want, I want it to be able to load uh, WAV files, MP3 files, and M4A files. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we have to feed that audio file to the Whisper model. So first things first, we have to load the Whisper model. Uh, I guess the best thing to do here would be to, let's set up a function called low whisper model. And then, um, yeah. In here, we're gonna load the base model, if you know, if you don't know what that is, basically Whisper has uh, a few different models like base and tiny. So basically, Whisper has a few different models like base and tiny, etc. And I'm using the base model. Okay, perfect. So now that we have a function called load whisper model, I'm going to cache this function with st.cache. And now I'm going to associate the loading of the model with a streamlit button. So let's say st.sidebar uh, load whisper model. And then we're gonna say, um, yeah, if actually it's not F, yeah, okay. if st about dot button. Uh, we're gonna say model equals load whisper model. Perfect. And this is what our app looks right now. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, we can now test this button. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna just click Old Whisper Model. So as you can see, the model is running here. And boom, the model is loaded. Perfect, so that part is working. Uh, so now what I wanna add to this model is 
the prediction part. Uh, okay, so yeah. So this is, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a, another button. And uh, generate, no. Uh, transcribe audio. Transcribe audio. So I'm just here correcting the GitHub Copilot completions let's see i'll do a file that i'll read uh no that's not how it works no 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 no, no. github copilot hasn't worked with whisper yet <laughs> so um Now what we're doing is we're gonna set up a variable called transcription. Equal to model dot uh, transcribe, right? In the audio file and The one, one problem here is that if the button is not loaded, I might run into some problem here, but then it will tell me, look, yeah. So this is how I'm doing this. Audio file is not none. Transcription equals model dot transcribe the audio file. And then transcribing the audio. Uh, transcription succeeded. Yeah, so first it's gonna say this, and then after it's gonna say s.sidebar.success. Okay, let's see what this looks like and let's see if it works uh, for that I would like to sd.text transcription text perfect okay so first I'm gonna load the whisper model perfect and now okay so here I already loaded the whisper model now let's transcribe the audio now I need to, okay, so the app seems to be working. I need to upload an audio file. Yeah, of course. So I'm going to upload an audio file. I have an audio file right here. So I need to, so I need to load an audio file. So I, I have an audio file right here. Perfect. I have my audio file loaded. Let's now transcribe the audio. So I'm getting an error. Stream the API exception message not valid. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So I tried to do the message with this message thing, but actually it was just success. Yeah. So now I try again and he said model is not defined. Okay, so I have to load my model and then run the transcription and it's still saying model is not defined. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Hmm, interesting. Low whisper model and transcribe audio. Okay, so we're having an issue with this part. Apparently, he's saying that model is not defined when it actually is defined. So I need to figure out why that is. I return the loaded model. Right, right. And then I use it right here. All right, so this is the change I'm going to do. I'm going to set up just instead of, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just for model loaded. And then, yeah. Okay, so let's see if like this, it works. Let's see, transcribe audio. Okay, so he's getting an error. He's saying expected in Pyre got uploaded the file. That makes sense. So the other file is not a path. Uh, so let's figure out how to get the path in the stream. How to
perfect. Okay. The thing, the thing that I was missing here was I need to write autofile.name to get the name of the file, which will have to be inside of the same uh, folder as the script I'm writing this in, because Streamlit, the file uploader in Streamlit doesn't return a file path, but it's okay. So I'm getting the path here with audiofile.name then running the transcription. Now when we test this, as we can see here, the model is loaded and when I run transcribe the audio, it's now transcribing the audio. When it finishes, it will show a transcription complete here, as you can see, and perfect. I don't like taking lecture notes, but I love it work. Yeah, that's the audio that I have. All right, so that's a perfect first step. I guess one cool thing would be to let's improve the how the text uh, output is shown. Let's improve how the text output is shown. So let's say to mark down it will look better let's test this out all right perfect yeah as we can see here the output looks pretty good on the screen now, I guess the last thing would be to add to this app would be to have a button that can actually uh, read the audio, the original audio file, so I can compare the, trans the transcription to the original. So let's take a look at that. Uh, to do that, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna say, all right, so if st.sidebar.button, um, uh, play original audio file. So then the audio file st.audio. Uh, all right. I guess I can just say this. Yeah. And maybe with like some text like I had their saying play original audio file. Mm, I think I would prefer that in the sidebar. So let's say sidebar. Let's say sidebar. Perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks right now. Play original audio file, and then I can I run. Perfect, this is the original audio, and then I can run transcribe audio, and it will be transcribing, transcribing, and then beautiful, and now I can run this. Perfect, and you guys can't hear, but 
my original audio is playing, which is great. And this is the this is the model's transcription. All right, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers.